So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to be able to go over the Stretch Sense uh, Pro Fidelity mocap gloves. All right, so I have them right here. I got two cameras going on. You can see, well, y'all can see when I cut to it. But for the most part, what I want to do is I want to kind of just give uh, an overview of these gloves since I've had them and um, try to do a little comparison with the gloves, these uh, Madness Prime 2s. All right, so first I just want to talk about these uh, Stretch Sense Pro Fidelity gloves. Biggest thing is why the hell do you need these? Like, why do I why do I have them? Right? Why do I have these gloves? As you know, I'm am I'm basically embarking down a journey. Right? I already have a feature film out now, but what I'm doing is I'm working on another feature film, and it's going to be animated. So we're looking at CG. We're going in Unreal Engine, and we're just going to be trying to build this world. To do that, we need to build characters. So then we get characters, and we get characters. We need animations. Right? We get animations. Guess what? We want some finger data. We want to see all of that goodness. We want to see it. So to do that, you have to start looking into some of the mocap gloves, some of the things that's going to give you the best fidelity, uh, things that's going to make sure that when you're going over there and you're trying to go animate a character that you can be able to get what you're looking for, right? If your hands do this, you want the character to do that. So for the most part, going over these gloves, um, I had them for about... I want to say about a week now, and I don't even know if it's fully a week, but I'm just going to say it's a week, right? So had them for about a week now, and my initial thoughts about the gloves are they are awesome, right? So um, if you see in the second camera, I'm just shooting up there, we can see how they look. So this is just a little visual. What I am going to do is I'm going to put one of these gloves on. The big thing is when you're putting these gloves on, they are smooth, they are comfortable, and they are flexible. So you can definitely get all of that movement when it comes to capturing your data. So um, they got a couple of um, these like Velcro kind of paddings. What I do with those is, because I use the X-Sense or Movella, um, a window starter kit. And what I can do is I can actually just put these things on here. So when I'm getting my full body tracking going, these things are gonna work. Um, big thing is, what I have is these uh, Pro Fidelity gloves. These are uh, Stretch Sense's top of the line. These are the pro you want to get in there and do the biggest, best thing. You want to make sure that you're tracking all of the greatness and hitting all of your marks. That's what these gloves are. These are those. And uh, they also come with, you have two of these dongles. You got two of these dongles. Basically, they represent each, each hand. And you basically just plug those in. And then what you're going to do is you got to have some way to capture and track that data. What they have is Stretch Sense has the hand engine. So the hand engine, um, I got that up and running. Everything was fairly simple. Going through the process of getting these um, gloves calibrated, you go through the hand engine. All right. So the hand engine is a quick and easy uh, setup. So you have me in here, Edward yours truly and then what we're going to do is we've just plugged in those usbs and we're just going to go through connecting those up so this is the left glove and uh, connect up the right glove and as you see this is without any calibration this is the setup how the gloves are on right now so what i'm going to do now is we're going to go through and we're going to calibrate calibrate express it's preparing rotate move these off to the side just move our hands it says please rotate your wrist and move your fingers into extreme positions all right then we're going to go through and we're going to do calibrate express of the right hand it's going to be the same little pattern well not pattern but just moving our hands all right next we are going to go through the now they have advanced calibration. Now, when I say advanced calibration, I'm talking about you can go into, I did it through performance. And now these are basically things if you want to train these gloves for certain movements, right? So you're going there, you want sign language in right now, but you want to calibrate or train these gloves so when you have your model or your hand model in the sense of, cause these are for the hand calibrations that 
they're going to be able to remember that movement and you're going to go through and close open. And now this process of the advanced uh, calibration, it's definitely a lot more steps. It's a lot more different hand movements, but it's awesome. So if you're trying to go in there and really dial something in, like you're going to be making sure that you're going to be having some, some snaps happening. Um, talking about Thanos snaps, but if you're going to be having some snaps happening, you want to make sure that you dial these things in, right? So that's a, a great tool there. It takes a little bit of time to go through all of those steps because for each move, they want you to like rotate and hold for three seconds, close this and then for three seconds. But the process goes through and if you really want your gloves dialed in, that would be the, um, basically the steps to take. So is the advanced calibrate really needed? Um, I would say if you're going in where you know you're gonna have some close-ups of hands and you wanna make sure that the camera is seeing that kind of animation, then yes, make sure you go through as many training sessions as far as calibrating um, the, the gloves as possible. For a majority of the time, if you're just having a character and they're gonna just be there and they kind of gonna move their hands and you wanna still have that hand data, the Calibrate Express is gonna work fine. So I did this Vegeta animation and the hands that he's using, the fingers going through, that is just through Calibrate Express. So depending on what you're looking for, Calibrate Express, that could be all you really need. So how much are these things going for? These Pro Fidelity, they're top of the line. These gloves are going for $7,000. Damn. Right, so that is one of those hefty prices, which to me is the only thing that I would say that's kind of the negative. But I also mentioned that they have other solutions for this, uh, meaning that they also have a couple other gloves that you probably wanna look into as well if you wanted to. They have the Pro Studio gloves. Those are going for 2,800. That's a fairly a price. Something else that they're gonna be coming out with that they introduce is the studio gloves. And those are for $800. Um, I'll have their website in the description. So if you wanted to go through, you can really go in there and get all the details and information on those. But what this is really saying is that they are looking out for independent uh, creators or creatives, right? So you have that. All right, so let's talk about some of the results that I got from using these gloves, right? So all I'm saying is this right here, what I'm gonna start doing now is I wanna go over somewhat of the comparison because I haven't had the gloves that long to really just give some fully dialed in, hey, this is my thoughts. This is kind of still that initial, you know what I mean? This is that kind of that, that honeymoon sweet stage, right? And so it's like, hey, I, I like how everything is working. I like how it's moving. I like how it's going. I like the goodness. But what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of talk about what are the, the negatives. And this is where I'm gonna be comparing it to the Manus Prime 2s. All right, so let's kinda of dive in there. We can see we got the Manus Prime 2s and we have these gloves. First thing first, what I will say is if I'm holding both of these up, you see how these gloves, they just kinda of, kind of just drop down. They feel comfortable. To me, the Manus Primes, they are definitely um, a great mocap solution over a hand animation, but they do have their problems, all right? So let's talk about comparison now. I'm just gonna be kind of shooting it off and we can just dive in a little bit. So price, I got these for $5,000. These are $7,000. The thing is, is it worth the $2,000 difference? All right, now this right here might be the biggest negative when it comes to the stretch sense. It's just the price point, $7,000. But you have to think about um, when it comes to what we do as creatives, right? If you're out there buying a red camera, you're gonna be spending 50 grand. If you're buying an airy camera with all the bells and whistles, you're gonna be spending 50 to 100 grand. Think about lenses. Lenses cost a lot of money if you want some good ones, right? So. Everything that you do in this creative space, you're in a world where things cost a little bit of money. So I'm not that mad at a $7,000 glove. But now when we talk about us independents, 
$5,000 is still crazy too. I'm not gonna act like this, is it, right? But it's just this thing of when you wanna get out there and capture whatever it is you're trying to capture, what are you really throwing out there, right? When you use and you get on set, and I'm just gonna rant a little bit. When you're on set and you're shooting something, you gotta rent a location, you gotta get actors, you gotta get food, you gotta get, um, you gotta make sure reserve. It's so many things that you have to do. It's gonna ring up the price. When you have these things, if you're an independent filmmaker or a creative, you can actually shoot this in your studio or in your home, right? You can create things and then you can just get on your computer and create that world. So that's gonna save you money. So same time, that's just the price point. It all depends on how you look at things. To me, um, doing something that I love, which is creating, um, I understand why they can be that price. But at the same time, it's still $7,000, right? Hey, come on, let's act like we have something. But these are still $5,000. So it ain't like you're happy with both of them as far as the price point goes. But that's why I mentioned that Stretch Sense is coming out with a solution for that when they have their studio gloves going for 800 bucks. All right, so um, like I said, you can go see all the details with that. Let's also go into some of the big things that I see from both of them. Off the bat, when I calibrated the Stretch Sense glove with um, the Calibrate Express, the data that I got out of there for the fingers already came out better than the Manus Primes as far as fidelity. Um, the one thing that uh, I know with the Manus Primes, like I said, um, this is not a, a session where I try to like talk down on the Manus Primes because I definitely love the glove. But it's the one thing is the thumbs, for some reason that I always get, it's almost like the thumbs when I have the animations, they all just stick out or they have some, they look a little weird. And I didn't get that uh, fully with these, with the Stretch Sense gloves. Now, I want to just uh, make this disclaimer, or it's not really a disclaimer, I'm just talking to y'all. But I do want to say that when you use any type of glove, uh, like mo motion capture glove, any kind that they have out there, you're going to do some cleanup later on. All right, now what do I mean by cleanup? You're going to have to take that into whatever, um, wherever you're building that animation out at. Like me, I use um, iClone, and I'll, I'll be using Character Creator for getting some of the, cre um, the characters, and I'll go into Unreal, and then you can retarget things if you want to there, or you can just do things in iClone and build up there. So there's so many different ways of trying to build. But when you bring in that information, that's with the Manus Prime or with Stretch Sense or any gloves, you're going to have to do a little cleanup because the characters that you're working with, they might have bigger hands, they might have smaller hands. It's so many different things that you wanna make sure that you have to dial those in. Now, that being said, when it comes to the Manus Primes, the type of data that I'm getting out of it is probably around 70% there. So that's pretty good, meaning that I'm gonna have to do 30% of cleanup. And most of the time it's just in the thumbs, you know what I mean? Or you might get a, um, you might close your hand and you might have a finger steel kind of up, but you can quickly fix that. So it's not something that's like a deal breaker, but it is a little bit of cleanup. Now with the stretch sense, I brought that in there, it was around 90%, and that's just with Calibrate Express. So I'm assuming if you go through the advanced uh, calibration where you start doing like performance, or you really go in there and just dial things in, that number will be a lot higher. So that could be one of those things that some people will say, hey, that's a $2,000 markup that I don't mind spending. Um, to me, I'm like, this is awesome, and when it comes to me making my feature film that's gonna be an animation, which I wanna be, um, getting started soon on is this is making me wonder about the glove which one am i going to use to make sure i capture and i definitely know if you have to clean up let's say an hour and a half of uh, feature film on animation that extra percentage of cleanup that can be uh something that's kind of hefty um, when it comes to issues i haven't had these gloves long enough to say okay these are all the issues that's going to happen like i said i've had these for about a week so right now these things are guys gift right so i'm loving them i'm loving how they do but at the same time 
I've shot a lot of things and a lot of animations with these gloves. And I'm kind of, I got that whole thing where, you know what? I like my gloves, right? They work. Um, when it comes to the setup for calibration for the Manus Prime, it's quick, right? You can go through and quick, but at the same time, they don't, at least I haven't seen, they don't have like this advanced calibration where you're gonna really go in and just dial things in, which I think they should have that. They just need to look at some of the stretch sense things. But stretch sense having that is giving it that one up. So you have that there. Um, when it comes to the, the feel of it, these, they both feel good in their own way. You know what I mean? This to me, it almost feels like, like an MMA glove. So like when you put it on, your hand kind of rests already at a certain position. So you know it's like, it's sturdy, it's there. Now, is that the greatest solution when it comes to hand animation? Probably not because you're kind of getting pushed in a position. It's a re kind of a resting position. When you put these stretch sense gloves on, you're like, this is comfortable, feels good, my hands can relax, I can actually get on the, the keyboard and go in and type things in. And you probably heard me say that before. The reasons why I mentioned the keyboard thing is because when you're going over there and like myself being a small independent um, studio or a company, I'm gonna go through and calibrate everything myself. So when I'm calibrating my things myself and I have my window starter uh, suit on and I have the gloves that I'm wearing, I gotta get on that keyboard and I gotta type out some stuff to get things set up. When you're doing that with the Manus Primes on, you're kind of like, ooh, let me try to get this thing. You gotta hope the finger can touch, then you, it's just a little awkward. This one, very comfortable. I can leave these gloves on and just continue working. So you have that. Now, um, other than that, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna like, it's not really uh, too much of a, a big thing of going over all of the, like, oh, this one's like, okay, 15 to 20% better. And this one is this. The reasons why, because these are Manus Prime 2s. They do have, um, I think it's something quantum. Manus has a more expensive glove. They have some new ones, which they have like the fingertips kind of thing that's on them. I don't have all the, I don't have all the knowledge on that. So I'm not going to act like I, I do know, but they're roughly around the same price as these. So I'm pretty sure that from the uh, tests and things that I've seen in reviews, those gloves are definitely looking like they're hitting up the marks and things that they need to do. That being comparison, they could be um, equally as good as these gloves as well. So I'm saying I'm kind of comparing some of the tip top of the line stretch sense pro fidelities to a Manus Prime where they do have other solutions that's higher than this to cost a little bit more. I'm just talking about these because I own these gloves and I want to just give y'all some uh, feedback. What I will say is these gloves are amazing. They are awesome. Um, they are just tools though. Just understand that they are tools and if these tools can help you get the job done a little smoother, just understand that time is the thing that's kind of stopping us with a lot of stuff. So um, find out, and then I don't understand money can be there too. So I know they have another solution coming with the studio gloves. I'm definitely wanting to try those out and give my feedback on those. With that price point, that's gonna definitely be a good independent kind of um, glove to look into and in coming into the game of animation. Um, but for the most part, I know I've been talking too long, so I ain't gonna try to hold this one up too much longer. I will say these are all tools. This tool here, is definitely awesome. I definitely recommend it if you do have the budget where you can go in and you're trying to look at these higher solutions and you're getting into the animation world and you wanna be able to go in there and get great um, um, hand fidelity and great hand animations. Stretch Sense Pro Fidelity is definitely an awesome glove. It's definitely an awesome thing. Um, I'm gonna keep creating. I'm hoping you're gonna do the same and I'm not gonna hold it up and take too much of your time. Hopefully you liked the little review. I did a little side by side. Maybe I'll throw some little comparisons in there where you can see the hands kind of moving back and forth. You can just take a look at that. And other than that, y'all have a good one. I'll talk to y'all later.